And good afternoon. This is uh, Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, and this is the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Network. From now until 5, we are recording live, and uh, if you have a radio, you want to check out the audio, uh, give us a shout. Uh, we'll be recording until 5. Also, if you need a little assistance in uh, tuning up your radio, uh, we uh, do that. Also, we've uh, probably tuned up about 175, 180 uh, um, I come uh, 7300s and some uh, probably about uh, 35 to 40 um, I come 7610s but uh, you know uh, if you have a radio all tuning is pretty much the same uh, we're looking to uh, give you about a 3 dB dynamic range in your audio which would be about an 80 to 85 percent average peak modulation so this is, uh, my name is Jim, and this is KC9VKV, and this is the Friday afternoon QSO Vlog page. And uh, so uh, we'll check and see if uh, Charlie K1GZL is uh, on frequency. Charlie, you out there? Roger, Roger, Charlie. Uh, so you have uh, some uh, inclement weather coming in. Roger, Charlie. Uh, so you have uh, some uh, inclement weather coming in. Yeah, right now we're right in the middle of a rain shower. Right in the middle of a rain shower. It's about 58 degrees, 5 8 uh, degrees, and uh, it uh, will probably end shortly. But uh, the weather is not good at the present, Jim. But your Q5 direct. Correct. You're running a little over S9. Correct. Go ahead. Roger, Roger. Well, I'm I'm running on both tubes uh, now. <laughs> I have uh, been running on just one uh, uh, 3-500Z, but uh, finally I broke down and uh, opened the box and uh, did some um, uh, contact uh, cleaning and burnishing on the tubes, and uh, lo and behold, now I have two uh, 3-500Zs working. Roger. Roger, well, it sounds uh, it sounds good. You got a very very good signal, and here it is, just receiving you direct. Here it is. Oh, now I have two uh, 3500Zs working, Roger. Okay, uh, back to you, Jim. And uh, how was your day down there? KC9 VKV K1G ZL. Well, Charlie, it's been uh, pretty good today. Uh, I've uh, I kind of keep it, try to keep it light on Fridays uh, because of the uh, you know our QSO VLOG network and uh, and all the stuff that we have to do in preparation for that to get everything in order. And uh, I uh, have a checklist here that's uh, about two <laughs> about two pages long of uh, all the stuff that uh, has to be done to bring this uh, uh, ham shack uh, studio whatever it is. Uh, up up and running, uh, Roger. Uh, studio, whatever it is, uh, up and running, uh, Roger. Oh, yeah, yeah, I understand, I understand. Uh, like, uh, you're uh, playing with all that uh, material to get uh, your program going. Uh, I've got to still uh, work on this, uh, uh, this bad antenna that I'm transmitting on. Uh, I'm hoping maybe within a week or so to uh, get that uh, get this, this thing on the air correctly, get it on correctly. I still have a lot of work to do. It's a matter of getting the right weather uh, and uh, going after it. A lot of things I have to do, uh, Jim, to, uh, to do it. I've got to take, uh, I've got to climb that front pole. I've got to get up over 50 feet. I've got to have a hoe connected to me, an H-O-E, a hoe. Uh, I've got to have two sets of ropes two sets of ropes, and I uh, have to have nails, a hammer, and uh, uh, other things uh, to go along with it. So it's, uh, it's quite a job, quite a job. And also, am I going to get enough nerve to go up and just... By the way, are you, what SDR are you picking me up on, uh, Jim? Uh, go ahead. 
Uh, we're kind of uh, oscillating uh, this afternoon between uh, between Rochester and uh, Milford. Uh, you know, it, it kind of seems like as one uh, fades out, the other fades in. I guess that's just uh, the um, conditions are kind of shifting around a little bit. But, uh, you know, I am doing uh, real well on, on both of those uh, uh, kind of um, spasmodically, Roger. Sure. Okay. Yes, uh, I understand. That SDR is a great, uh, a great system, a great system. In fact, uh, without an SDR and direct, uh, here's a couple seconds of that last one. You are as clear as a bell, right through all this rain. Here it is. I think. Conditions are kind of shifting around a little bit, but uh, you know, I am doing uh, real well on, on both of those, uh, uh, kind of um, spasmodically, Roger. Okay, Jim, back to you. Go ahead. Thank you, Charlie. That uh, really sounds good, man. You've got that uh, that recording down to uh, a science now. And I, uh, as I understand it, uh, Jim uh, FET uh, kind of uh, helped you uh, get that going. Is that a Roger? Roger. That is a Roger. He did a great job. Originally, of course, the 7300 uh, came with a card that you could uh, make a recording and play it in your own check, but not on the air. And uh, Jim uh, figured out, well, this, this has got to stop. This has got to stop. We've got to do something about this. There's no reason why it should be on a card and not being able to go back over the air. So he, uh, he uh, devised systems, and, uh, and all I'm doing is recording into an ancient, I mean over 20-year-old cassette, and playing it back right through the 7300. Go ahead. Roger, Roger. Well, it seems like the the heads and all that in that cassette machine are together because it really the fidelity really sounds uh, sounds good. Uh, I, and uh, you know, I'm I'm waiting for you uh, actually to get your antenna together because uh, I want to uh, go hunting with you on a CQ uh, DX uh, expedition. Uh, kind of, uh, I'll be in the background a little bit, but I want to I want to uh, check out uh, how you do it, sir. Roger. Roger. Well. Uh my directivity, uh, depending which band we're on, uh, Jim, depending which band we're on, uh, right here on uh, 40, uh, I'm uh, pretty well restricted to the uh, west-southwest. Uh, in other words, I'm not too far off you uh, down in uh, Louisville, and uh, the BX uh, that I uh, would do better is in the early morning. Uh, down into New Zealand and all, Australia uh, and all through the South Pacific. Uh, but um, I do uh, work, uh, Ian, of course, he has a terrific receiving antenna, a uh, stack rhombic. I work, uh, Ian, in Melbourne, uh, northwest of Melbourne, Australia, on a regular basis, and I talked to him this morning uh, here on the 13th of uh, June 2019, uh, and uh, he was running 150 watts, and he was uh, 20 over 9 up here. Go ahead. Oh, Roger that, Roger that. Well, I'm just, uh, you know, just uh, curious. I want, I think, I'm about uh, starting an, another uh, series called uh, uh, CQDX, and uh, where. Um, you know, it's uh, be uh, pretty much, uh, you know, overseas and, uh, you know, distant uh, contacts. Roger? Roger. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, I'm not uh, really good to Europe from here. Uh, you would do far, far better than myself uh, operating into Europe, uh, Jim, uh, because of this hill I'm on. Uh, oh, occasionally uh, I can get over there, but... Um, <laughs> I'm uh, going right up over the top of uh, Ben Young Hill here, and that uh, peaks out at 2,400 feet, and I'm at 2,030 uh, uh, feet. Uh, my property goes up to uh, 2,300, but I don't clear the hill. Uh, but I got, a, as you can see on my QRZ, a very good shot to the uh, southwest, uh, west, and especially west-southwest, uh, a, good, uh, a good shot. Uh, but that pretty well cuts me off uh, from Europe. Uh, but, uh, yeah, DX is interesting, especially uh, if you can work QRP and work, uh, work a lot of stations with very low power. That's, that's the test of any antenna. Go ahead. 
Roger, Roger. Well, but that wasn't exactly what I had planned. But uh, you know, we're just uh, kind of uh, play it by ear, as they say. And I'm surprised that uh, Tareen. You know, my way of thinking is that uh, everything we do, HF wise, is is a uh, skywave. And uh, so I was just wondering if one's uh, local terrain, uh, how much it really plays a part as far as, uh, you know, transmissions uh, from, uh, you know, um, large distances away. Because it it seems to me that it's mo moving by Skywave, so it would not necessarily be subject to a local terrain. But uh, tell me more. More. Well, uh, there's uh, a good reason for uh, the terrain making a difference. Uh, if the ground, if the ground in front of your antenna is sloping uphill, and you're trying to uh, get uphill over that hill, yeah, you might get uphill if the angle is high enough to clear the hill. However, you've got another factor, and that's the ground reflection. The ground reflection. Uh, in other words. Uh, uh, if your antenna is not very high, say say it's up at 35 feet, and uh, out in front of you, 400 feet away, you've dropped down uh, uh, 200 feet in elevation. Uh, the, uh, the 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 wave coming off the antenna will hit the ground in this case, and due to the slope of the ground, that will lower the angle of radiation. And if you get the right combination and get the uh, reflected ray to go in phase with the sky wave, uh, then you gain, uh, you gain also if the conductivity of the ground is good. Uh, it, uh, it makes one heck of a difference. Uh, so you're better off. Uh, you can get a nice low angle on flat land with a very high antenna, but you don't need as much high height if you're going to uh, shoot uh, off of uh, sloping down uh, terrain and taking advantage of the ground reflection and how it comes together with the outgoing wave. Uh, in other words, they'll phase, uh, come in phase, and uh, that, uh, that makes a big difference, Jim. Go ahead. Roger, Roger. Well, I'd certainly prefer to be in phase than out of phase. My wife says I'm out of phase all the time. <laughs> so, um, I, uh, I, and I do have problems with uh, uh, my terrain. I'm on a, uh, a hill, but there's a bigger hill uh, about uh, five miles away. It's called uh, Floyd's Knobs. And uh, that is a uh, uh, very, I'm not sure exactly what the altitude is, but I think it's uh, about 700 feet higher than where I am. So it does play havoc for UHF and VHF stuff. I mean, I'm having to angle up uh, about uh, 15 degrees uh, to get over those uh, those hills. Uh, otherwise, I'm just working directly into the hills. I have a um, uh, uh, rope tied to the front and the back of my uh, uh, UHF Yagi, with 27 element UHF Yagi, and uh, I can uh, up angle that thing uh, uh, just tremendously, or uh, down angle it, just, it's kind of like sailing a ship and changing your uh, sails, Roger. Roger. Oh yeah, Roger, what direction, what direction from your home uh, are those hills? Uh, what uh, direction is it inhibiting your signal to a degree? Go ahead. Uh, mostly north, directly north, uh, but it does move around uh, to the west. So I do have difficulty in uh, uh, 2 meters and uh, 70 centimeters working uh, directly north and uh, moving around to uh, directly uh, west because that the knobs do wrap around in this area. Roger. Roger. Okay, I think I hear people calling you there, uh, Jim. So I'll tell you what, I'll sign. I'll sign on this one, and uh, and I appreciate uh, appreciate everything you're doing uh, on helping people uh, get their rigs tuned up and uh, giving them a chance to uh, check their uh, audio out. So we're still running about just a little over 700 watts with this broken antenna, and uh, it's amazing I can get out. Uh, but it's that slope off of uh, the land dropping down. But I am blocked very badly to Europe, very badly, uh, Jim. So I'll say uh, 
as they say down under, mate. Cheers, and uh, we'll catch you hopefully next Friday. Uh, KC9, VKV, K1G, ZL. It's always a pleasure. Roger, Roger, Charlie, your pleasure's on this end, sir. You, you're just a, a wealth of information, and uh, hopefully I can uh, uh, pick your brain from time to time as we uh, go on this uh, CQDX uh, venture. I'm not exactly sure when we're going to try it, but I'll, I'll get up with you uh, first, and we'll uh, compare notes and uh, see uh, the best way to proceed with that. So for now, we'll say threes, and you have yourself a real good afternoon and a great a great weekend. Uh, and this is uh, KC9VKV and the QSO Vlog Network. If you've got a radio you want to tune up or you want to hear, we are recording now live till 5, and uh, so you give us a shout. This is KC9VKV. KV. KV.